Alright, what up, YouTube? Yo, basically, hypothetically, and realistically, what I'm about to show y'all is confidential. Alright, we're indoors. I'm sick. I'm away from my home gym. And um, we got to make it do what it do with what we have. So, pretty much gonna show y'all some indoor drills. Basically, for wide receivers, specifically for wide receivers. And um, let's get to it. All right, what we're about to work on right now is about to be hand speed. So, I'm gonna show y'all a quick drill that, of course, we can do inside. What you wanna do is hold the ball towards the middle, right? And you sort of wanna exchange hands very fast, like, bomb. And you're gonna do this repeatedly, and usually I go to a count of 50. And the main thing for a wide receiver is to catch the ball. If you drop a ball, there's gonna be some type of repercussion. You know, the coach is gonna yell at you. Something's gonna happen when you drop a ball. You're gonna get punished in practice, who knows. But your point is to shake it off, but you still have to discipline yourself. So when I drop a ball, I um, do push-ups after, you know, as punishment, so, I'm gonna do a 50 count, bong, 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 however many I drop, I'm gonna do that many push-ups, and you're not gonna catch all of them, so, don't get, um, you know, don't get discouraged, just keep going, and you'll notice, you'll get better and better each time. That was 50. Time for the push ups. If you want harsher discipline, you could, of course, multiply that times like two times three. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna try to get through it. And of course, we have other drills such as fingertip drills, which look like. Catch the ball like that, and you do those, and it gets your fingertips strong. Or from the catching the ball. All right, this drill right here is gonna help you with your reaction time as well as um. Yeah. All right, start off in the sit up position, right? You're gonna throw the ball up, and you're gonna do a sit up and catch it on the way down and repeat. So. right and you're gonna feel that now if you want to advance it a little bit more what you're gonna do is close your eyes from the throw all the way to the setup and only open them on the way down <clears throat> this is gonna get tricky but this is where reaction time really comes into play so let's see eyes are closed ah you in some weird positions but it's your job to get that ball so try it out the key to these drills staying hydrated especially when you're inside and there's no airflow so stay hydrated but what we're gonna work on right now right now is changing directions now you know as a wide receiver you gotta make a lot of cuts 
you're gonna need to change your direction. So basically, <laughs> what we're doing right now, side to side with the ball. I try to get all my drills to involve a ball of some kind because as a wide receiver, this is this is the, the artifact right here. You need this. So I'm gonna place the ball right here, right? We start off at the ball in a good athletic stance, right? Good athletic stance. Trace, trace, come back, get the ball with the closest hand, switch it, place the ball, come back, bomb, plant, get the ball, and do that a total of 10 times. Let's see it. All right. Try that. That's crazy. That's crazy right there. But the key to that is keep traction, keep your feet under you, because definitely on carpet when you don't have a lot of traction, it's, you may slip. You don't want to risk any of these. You don't want to risk any of those. You don't want to risk too much. So keep your feet under you. Stay balanced. Don't cross your feet. We really don't cross our feet much in football. That's how you trip up. So, don't, none of that, no karaoke's. Straight up, bomb, bomb, plant. Stay low, sink your hips. It's a lot of hip power. Try that. All right, right now we're gonna work on your ability to explode off the ball, as well as your ability to stop during the route. So, line up in your receiver stance, right? And what you're gonna do, you don't wanna overcommit. You wanna stay at, in the same form you would if you were actually running your route. So, what you're gonna do is take your first step, bam, lift this leg up, hop back, get ready, do it again. So, it's gonna be like, Switch it up, do the other leg. <sighs> All right, what we're working on right now is your foot speed as well as your hip movement. And um, it doesn't require a lot of space. And you can see we're in a small room. So <laughs> what you need to know is that a lot of your change of direction is in your hips. Bomb, bomb, it's a lot in your hips. So we're gonna start off with little choppy steps. Bong, bong, bong. You really want to over exaggerate the turn in the hips. Bong, bong, bong. You feel me? So going through, it's going to look like this. And repeat that. Alright, so for this drill, I have to set up a different viewpoint. But basically, hypothetically, realistically, this is confidential. Excuse the mess in the background. Anyway, this is called the box drill, the star drill. It's been seen before. It's not hard. I just put it in the room. There's a bunch of box drill. Anyway, I have a cone right here, a cone right here, a cone right here you can't see, a cone right here you can't see. I'm going to throw the ball right here. And I'm going to do an across diagonal pattern. So, I'm going to start in the middle. Rocky, rocky athletic stance. Go to a cone, go across, go diagonal, go across, go diagonal, go across, go diagonal, go across, go diagonal. And try to switch directions. And then after you do you decide, say three times you shot, I don't know, pick a number. I don't even know what number I set for myself. Then attack the ball, hit the ball. 